Okay, so here's a case study that'll show you a macro in action. And this will enable you to identify places that you and your office can start saving time with macros. So this macro automatically fills out your forms and reports with the correct information. And I'm showing this kind of macro because it saves a lot of time and it can be used in almost every industry out there. So here's a diagram showing how it works. It's pretty simple. The macro just takes information from the source and moves it into the deliverables. Okay, so in this example, our contracting company spends a lot of time every day filling out forms for new clients. So we've created one nice easy data input form and the macro will take information from here and fill it into the appropriate form. Here's some of the forms. We have a rebate form, your, your job specs, um, some checklists. Let's open up some of these. Here's your job specs. It'll choose all the specs, run all the calculations. Here's a Word document it'll fill out. We can do Word documents, PDFs, a lot of different formats. And after it finishes filling out all the templates, it'll store them in a new folder the macro creates. So watch as I run the macro, it'll open up the templates, fill out the information, and save them into the new folder. Here's filling out the Excel files. Here's the Word document. And boom, there we're done. So here's the new folder. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, the Word document's filled out just like we want it to. Here's our field data. All the calculations run, all the specs correctly chosen. And that brings up a good point, correctly chosen. Macros produce no error, so the inevitable and costly risk of human error is neutralized when you use macros. Now let's review what this macro did. It just moved information from the source to the deliverables. Now what happens if the macro can move information both ways? Well that would make the diagram look like this. We have a dynamic source and dynamic deliverables that can change based on each other. And we can take it one step further and let the deliverables communicate with each other. And that's what this next macro will do. Okay, so in this example, you are the supply chain management division for your company. And it's your job to determine when you need to buy what. So I'll start the macro and I'll tell you what's happening. So you saw it open a couple files there. The macro is using your project database, your component database, and your inventory database. And it's cross-referencing between all three of those sources to compile this list. You need to know when the projects are starting, which components are used in each project, and what your inventory is so you know how many to buy. So it's listing the components here and the quantities you need to buy divided up into weeks. So it looks like we just finished. Let's go down to the bottom. I think we have about 6,000 of these. So I'll run the second part, which is consolidating. Multiple projects can use the same component, and so the component will be listed twice. And so now it's just consolidating to make it more comprehensive. Okay, so we just finished. Let's see how many we have now. Just 800 of these components now. And now it's real easy to drill down to one component, one week, and know exactly how many you need and when. Okay, so there were two Excel macros, and we can write macros for many other programs as well. And we also provide custom data analytics. So it takes some perception to envision how and if a macro can help you. So as always, if you have any questions, just give us a call. The phone call is free, and in about five minutes, you'll know if macros are your best option. And if they're not, we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.